All right, welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. As we like to uh, occasionally here on the show, we like to introduce you to some libation. And it's Friday, so why not? So I'm here with Tim Smith, or Timmy Smith. You may know him as Timmy. He goes by both, which is kind of funny because I go by Dane and sometimes Becky, but that's a completely different story we won't get into right now. So anyway, Tim, you're with the underground. Yes. And you are known for some of your amazing drinks, so I've been told, and so you're here to prove that reputation to, uh, you're going you're gonna to show us how to make a couple of drinks, a couple of cool ones, a couple of hot ones. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I think you're going to be impressed. I'm, okay. A lot of people uh, know Underground is just a, uh, an ice cold shot, but surprisingly it mixes well. Lots of bartenders in Utah have really introduced me to the cocktails, mm -hmm. and um, what I'm showing you is really from uh, you know bars across the state that have given them to me. Well, let's talk about Underground real quickly. If people are going, is, what is Underground? Is it, uh, you know, is it a drink? Is it a bar? Is it a distillery? Why don't you go ahead and give us the story? Well, technically, it's an herbal bitter liqueur. Okay. It's 80 proof. Uh, it's uh, made from corn and wheat, but it's distilled to 96% alcohol, charcoal filtered, so it's basically just a neutral grain spirit, which is then where the magic happens. I introduce 33 herbs, uh, flavors, and spices, uh, and then sweeten it with uh, basic uh, table sugar, and um, yeah, that's underground wrapped up as a whole. The herbs are really what's the most interesting part, I think. Um, it, everything from licorice root, uh, cardamom, angostura, um, gentian, uh, mate, uh, Rana, ginseng, uh, it's, it's wow, a really so you've great got combo. Some stimulants in there too. Yeah, absolutely. So, how did you come up with this? Well, it started out as an absinthe. Uh -huh. um, I had been, I've been making alcohol ever since I was a teenager, just as a hobby. Yeah, who hasn't, right? <laughs> and, and, and it just grew from there. Um, uh, during the 2002 Olympics, I was uh, introducing some friends to uh, my absinthe recipes. Uh -huh. They gave me the idea of uh, maybe I should sell this, and I had a new a new direction from new that business point. business model. Yeah. That's really cool. All right, so why don't you show us what we're going to what we're going to do here. We've got uh, you've got the underground right here in front. And in fact, uh, one of our one of the guests that we just interviewed walked right up to the makeshift bar and said, "Oh my gosh. What did she say? She has like we won't say who it was, but she was just here." Three or four of these in my freezer right now. <laughs> this is one of the first cocktails uh, that I was introduced to. Basically, we call it the Crunderberry. You take an ounce of underground, and depending if you make this tall or short, you can make this uh, you know, either about a five or six ounce. A little cranberry. Or even up to eight ounce. Garnish with lime, a little bit of lime juice. And to my mixology friends out there, I apologize for not having proper mm. form. But this is my best. Okay, so we've got the underground, and some cranberry, and some lime. That's that's pretty simple. It's a very simple, a very simple drink. This next one is a knockoff of the old fashioned. Okay. Which is one of the oldest cocktails out there, which really just calls for aged whiskey, herbal bitters, and simple syrups. And it's funny because underground really fits that profile yeah. and. I call this the Utah Old Fashioned because we're using um, High West Rendezvous oh, okay. rye, which I think a rye whiskey is really the best for an Old Fashioned, and what better than High West Rendezvous rye. Do you ever just free pour? Most of the time. With your friends? <laughs> <laughs> when you're at home? <laughs> Most of the time I do. Um, this is my one fun little trick. I like to use a flamed orange zest. So we'll take. All right, we're gonna move this. We're gonna move this right over. That's a cool little trick. We won't be able to see this on camera. There we go. Now watch the sparks come out. Which it? All right, and this will basically give extra orange oils. That's cool. I've never seen that before. And then we'll garnish with the uh, cherry. It's just burning the oils coming out of the skin. Yeah, absolutely. And then it gives a really added burst of orange flavor, which Underground does have orange uh, and lemon oils in it. But uh, this and that's the old fashioned. And that's the uh, Utah old fashioned. Interesting. Okay. Our, our next drink is a um, is a hot drink. Let me move these over just a little bit so we can get all of them up here. 
This is a hot drink, of well, course. We start out with the underground. Yeah, we'll start out with an ounce of underground and then follow up with um, hot apple cider. You know, in about three minutes, we're going to see everybody in the back room that doesn't usually show up until noon come in just wandering around wondering if they can sample. And so you want to keep an eye on this one and that one in particular because they might disappear. <laughs> we're going to garnish this with a little whipped cream and a cinnamon stick. Oh, okay. This one is really popular over at the uh, Lindsay O. Michaels. This is one of their uh, popular hot drinks during the, uh, during the winter months. Okay. This next one is a really fun one also. Uh, we just call this underground cocoa. I don't have a, uh, a fantastic <laughs> or, name or for candy. it. <laughs> yes, it could be candy. Daddy's little candy. <laughs> we'll start out with an ounce of underground. Okay. Follow that up with some cocoa. Any particular recipe on the cocoa? I like the things in the packs. Uh, just simple carnation. Mm -hmm. Swiss Miss. Exactly. Next um, week. Then we'll, why not, get some more whipped cream here. And you this call has, this, what, do you, what is this one called again? This is just an underground cocoa. And then we'll take a, a block of dark chocolate. Oh. And garnish. That's almost a girl drink. You know, we used to call those LMCs at the ski resort because LMC was um, the company that makes the, the snow cats, the groomers. Oh. Only they would usually offset that with a little bit of schnapps and whatever else they had sitting around. You know what I forgot? Sitting right here. You know what? We're going to take a quick break and we're going to let you explain some of the variations you can use on this. Oh, so okay. We're going to talk more with, uh, with, with Timmy from uh, Underground and we're going to tell you how you can find some for yourself coming up next on the Mountain Morning Show. Stay right there. We're coming right back.